Hey, you saw this uncle fellow on TikTok. He was saying that security guard can't keep your mic up. Who knew? Oh, yeah. But can trust me, this uncle, whatever he's called? I don't know, man. I got some questions I want to ask him. Like, ah! Can I sue the authorities for potholes that cause accidents? Where am I? Three things in life are certain in Malaysia. Death, taxes, and potholes. Your car suspension got destroyed by some lubang. Were you injured in a pothole accident? You are not alone. Kalau korang tak puas hati and you'd like to do something about it, then pak sini. Uncle cerita sikit. Cerita apa, Uncle? Oi, cerita tipu ni. Eh, apa yang kamu lakukan? Ceritanya macam ni. Who exactly can you summon? Well, it depends. If it's the road in front of your house, then it's probably under your local council. You punya DBKL, MBSA, MBPJ, semua tu lah. And federal roads are maintained by Jabatan Kerja Raya, JKR. Highways, on the other hand, are monitored by Lembaga Lubuh Raya Malaysia. But they are usually operated by different private companies like PLUS, who may even have their own subcontractor pals doing maintenance. Ha, yeah, maintenance. Yep. So before you go out guns blazing, kau kena tengok dulu siapa sebenarnya yang bertanggungjawab dekat sini. Dahlah kita bayar road tax, bayar tol semua. Of course you think someone needs to be held accountable lah kan? In this case it would be a civil suit actually. You wouldn't look at a criminal suit. We're talking about public roads right. So that means we will look at a uh, street drainage act. So in section 4 it says that the local authority must maintain and repair any roads that are within their purview. Most likely you would name the local authorities. If you do choose to uh, pursue with a civil suit, what you want to do is do it as quick as possible because civil suits they have an expiry period. It's based on the limitation act that we have in Malaysia. So any more than 6 years most of the time uh, you can't file a case. So if you do choose to file a case, make sure the you know evidence taking is very important. Make sure to take pictures. make sure that you know you get a doctor's assessment of your injury to show that the injury was caused by the potholes this is important actually to establish your cause of action later so you see it's not just physical injury that you can sue for but also property damage like your tyre pancit ke or your bumper tercabut ke semua sebab langgar pothole In 2015, a man successfully sued the Penang government for a pothole accident that caused him physical injury. Lagi satu kes pula in 2020, the victim even won 48,000 ringgit in damages. Jadi tak ada lah musahil sangat, tapi sangat sangat leceh. Uh, when it comes to litigation, that never really is a sure win. Worst case scenario, you fail at the magistrate's court level and you you go up to high court and then court of appeal. That sometimes takes up to three years. So that's worst case scenario. But if you win at the court of appeal, of course your damages increases by a few fold. In that sense, it's great lah. But you know whether you have that cost, you know it's going to take a long time. Do you have that stamina to go ahead with this litigation? Of course, you can always just skip all the legal shenanigans and just make a formal report to the relevant authorities about any damages on public roads. <laughs> Be still. No promises lah kan? Flashback tahun 2020, Menteri Kesihatan Malaysia Khairi Jamaluddin pernah jatuh terpleot disebabkan pothole. Lepas tu dia tweet lah pasal kejadian tu. Ha, mai aku bagi tahu kau. JKR punya lah takut they got off their asses and fix that pothole faster than you can say civil litigation suit. Civil litigation suit. Civil litigation suit. Memang macam cirit that in this country kita kena tunggu VIP complain baru orang pandai buat kerja ha Jake cut 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 jangan cakap macam ni berdosa tau tak tengok ni But you see once the issue has some level of publicity things tend to gear into action no guarantees but it could help your case For example, macam kes ni, bila video dah viral, pihak yang bertanggungjawab pun respon terus. Sometimes it makes me wonder if dashcams are our accidental lawyers. Literally. Dang, son. Leceh gila. Kena tunggu minister injil lagi. Kena tunggu viral lagi. Hmm. Leceh tu memang yes, tapi what might be a broken suspension or fractured hand or busted tire for you could potentially be something much more severe for someone else. 
From 2000 to 2011, a total of 840 people have died in road accidents resulting from pothole-related mishaps, according to a paper published in 2017, placing potholes as the third major cause of traffic accident deaths. So if you ever find yourself to be a victim of a pothole, don't be afraid to sue the government for negligence. These are things that have happened and they can happen. You just need to look at your grounds, your cause of action, the lawyer that advises you, how far your physical harm was caused by the pothole. Uh, so if you can establish all those things, you see yourself having a really good case, proceed, go ahead, you know, because where there's a will, there's a lawsuit. I think someone said that. <laughs> it was me. I said it. And now that you know, what will you do? I've been told that some of you have been ripping Leche Law videos and reposting them everywhere. Tolong stop. Uncle, tak nak tengok video Uncle viral kat OnlyFans tau. If you have more legal questions, tell us in the comments and maybe Uncle-in-law will cover it. <laughs>